Running a website without backups is like running a business without insurance. Extremely risky. Install the Duplicator plugin on your website today and backup, restore, and even migrate your website in just a few clicks. Check out the Duplicator plugin from the link in the description or follow this QR code on the screen. The sad reality is websites do get hacked. Regardless of what platform you're using, WordPress or any of their CMS, it can get hacked. My website has, personal website has been hacked a few different times. WBeginner has been hacked and your website also has the potential of being hacked. Now, it is, can be a very stressful situation and it's like, the analogy I can give you is, it's like somebody just pushed you out of an airplane. You have limited options, it's extremely stressful and a lot of the things that you will do now depend on how well prepared you were for this scenario. But regardless of how well you are prepared, I'm gonna give you actionable advice in this video on what you can do to make sure that your hacked website is recovered and you don't lose out on traffic, SEO, or any other benefits of your website having been live on the internet. So let me tell you step by step the things you can do to recover a hacked website. The absolute first step that I would recommend you do is to just hire professional help. Now, I have made this mistake myself. I tried to recover my hacked website myself. Now, even though I was successful, but I had to have the knowledge required in the background, the technical stuff to actually execute on things I could find on the internet. But it cost me a lot of time, energy and headache to recover my website. I could have just hired someone to recover my website for much less cost and time. Now, professional can charge anywhere between $100 to $250 per hour to recover a hacked website. But thankfully, there's an alternate solution. WBeginner Pro Services offers hacked site repair for just a one-time payment of $249 at the date of this recording. This service includes premium file determination, malicious code removal, software and security updates, and a clean site backup as well. And it's a completely guaranteed service. So if the website cannot be recovered, you don't pay. And if your website is hacked again in the next 30 days, the service is offered again free of charge. You don't pay unless your work is done. So if your website is hacked right now, then just go to the link in the description or I'll also leave it in the pinned comment. Just go to WBeginner. They have 10 plus years of experience in uh, recovering hacked websites. So you're in good hands. Just hire them and you'll have a lot of peace of mind and you'll not pay exuberant prices of hiring a professional. Now, if you want to recover your hacked website yourself, here are the steps you can take. The first step is to identify what areas of your website are hacked. So can you log into the backend area of your website? If that's a yes or no, make note of it. If your website is being redirected to a random website, make note of it. If you're seeing malicious content on your website, make note of it. If you're seeing a lot of different random links inserted to your website, then make a note of it. All this information is very valuable to anybody who can you can contact to get your website recovered. For example, in the next few steps, I'm going to tell you that you can get in touch with your hosting support or any other support then they'll require this information to understand what kind of hack your website has been prone to so making sure that you have the correct details on what is exactly happening on your site what areas do you have access to and what areas you don't have access to will give crucial pieces of information to the actual support people that you can reach out to even though you are doing this manually to help them direct you in the right steps so make sure to take note of everything. What content has changed? Is your website going down? Are you seeing errors in Chrome that your website has been hacked? Or uh, is is can you access the back end? Is the front end changed? Has the theme been changed? Has the content completely been changed? The exact or the more details you have, the better it will be or easier it will be for anybody else to actually tell you the right steps you need to take to hack or as I say recover your hacked website. Another point I'd like to add after this point is immediately change all the passwords that you have. So if you have admin access passwords, change it. Any other passwords you have in your website, change it immediately. You should change your passwords right now. And then also once you have cleaned up the hack, we will change the passwords once again. So once you've identified what is exactly happening on your site, it's recommended that you change all the passwords that you have on your site right now. Then proceed to the next step. The next step I would recommend you do is contact your hosting company. There are few benefits to doing this. First of all, they might be looking at data that you might not have access to, for example, the logs on your site, and you might be hosting your website on a shared environment. So the entire cluster of servers on that, or as a website on a specific cluster, might be hacked. So the good news in that department, if that happens is the hack backdoor or I say the root cause of the hack might not be your website. So the hosting company will try to clean up the entire cluster or at the entire section of websites that would hack. So they might actually clean up the website for you. And your hosting provider also usually maintains backups as well. So if anything goes wrong, they might have a running or I say correct or a live or good backup of your site. So they can instantly restore it very quickly so that your website can be live and free of infections. 
So that's also something they can do. So it's always a good idea to contact your hosting provider immediately. In our opinion, SiteGround and Hostinger both have good supports. I'll link them out in the description. If you're looking for a new hosting provider to start your website, I'll link them out in the description of this video. The next thing you should be doing is restoring your website from its backup or the last good known backup that you have. Now, this requires you to have backups in the first place. So if you don't have backups and you're just watching this video as a precaution, then go and install the Duplicator plugin right now on your site because Duplicator is one of the best plugins when it comes to backing up your website. It can connect to cloud services and backup your website automatically in the cloud. You can download backups to your computer as well. So this will give you peace of mind and multiple areas of, I'd say, protection when it comes to being hacked. So anytime your website has any kind of issues, whether it's a hack, whether it's a crash or something goes wrong, you can always go back to Duplicator's backups and just restore your website in a few clicks and have peace of mind that your website is running perfectly. The next thing you should be doing on your website for a hacked website recovery is doing some malware scans. Now, similar to how you can run antivirus software on your computer to identify if there's something going wrong with your computer and you have viruses on your computer, you can use plugins like Sukuri to scan if any of your website's plugins or themes or any files have been maliciously hacked. So what we would do is first of all, recommend that you delete all your unused themes and plugins because a lot of times you don't update them. And that is where a lot of hackers identify backdoors and insert their code which can be the actual cause of the hack so first of all delete all your unused plugins and your themes that you're not using actively on your site the next thing you should do is install a security plugin if you already didn't have a security plugin as i said we recommend the sukuri plugin it's a fantastic plugin there's a free version and there's a premium version as well and what it will do is scan all the plugins and all the themes and all the wordpress files and tell you if any of the files have been modified now a few different ways you can fix it if there are files that are found that are not original what you can do is replace the files from the WordPress setup. So let's say, for example, your functions.php file has been modified in the recent times. Then all you can do is just find or download a fresh copy of WordPress and replace the original file with the new file or replace the new file with the original file. And this will hopefully fix the issue. And if you see any plugin or theme files have been compromised as well, temporarily delete those plugins and reinstall the updated or recent version of the plugin so that you're assured that there are no issues with those specific theme or plugin. You can also temporarily disable all the plugins on your site just to make sure that there are no backdoors associated with it. And then you can update all the plugins later and then reinstall or reactivate them to make sure that any of the plugins are not the backdoor that caused your website to be hacked. I'll also link down in the description an article on Double Beginner, which will give you a detailed idea about how to find backdoors in WordPress and fix them. So if you're trying to figure out that if that's the problem, that article should also be something you should read definitely. The next thing you should check on your website is unauthorized users, additional users and additional user permissions. If you have other users on your website, which are subscribers, the backdoor might allow some users to get elevated permissions or get admin rights. So that's the first thing you should check. And if you are the only administrator on the site, then go and check if additional users have been created or additional administrators have been created. Because a lot of times uh, hackers, what they do is they identify some backdoors and they're able to create new users with admin rights. And once they have admin rights, they can perfectly change anything on your website and everything will appear normal because an administrator is making those changes. So if you find any additional users or additional, I say, uh, profiles on your website, which you don't identify, immediately delete them or check the permissions of any additional users that you have on your site and make sure admin rights are only available on your user account. The next thing you should be doing on your website is changing your security keys. Now, since WordPress 3.1, WordPress encrypts your passwords because saving passwords directly in the database is a security risk. So WordPress uses a secret key and then matches your password with it and actually saves that data in the database. Now, obviously this makes your website a lot more secure, but if a hacker has maliciously gained access to your site and if they're logged in, then this won't matter to them because they're still logged in and their cookies are valid. So they'll still be able to log into your website. But if you change the security keys, then they'll be logged out and they'll have to re-log in again. And if you've changed your passwords, as I mentioned in the steps above, then they'll be locked out and they'll have to find out another way to log in. And if potentially you'll log the hackers out of your website by just performing these two steps. So how do you change your security keys? I'll link an article down in the description of the video from Double Beginner, which you can follow step by step and change your keys as well. The next thing you should be doing on your website after you've done all of these steps is changing your passwords again. Now that you've taken the steps to ensure that hackers don't have access to your website, now you should be changing your passwords once again. 
So change your admin password, change your hosting account password, change your cPanel password, uh, database password, any password you can think of and you have access to change, make sure to change it and update it to a secure password. And don't make the mistake of reusing the same password because let's say hackers have access to a specific area of the website and they can get access to that password. Now everything else can be compromised as well. So make sure to change every password and make passwords unique. And hopefully with this, you'll have, or let's say block majority of the attacks or majority of the open areas that hackers or vulnerabilities that hackers might be using to gain access to your website. So hopefully by following these steps, you'll gain access back to your website. And with that, what you should be doing now is preparing so that this does not happen again. So I'm going to list out a few different things you can do on the screen so that you can follow along those and specific instructions for them will be linked down in the description in form of articles so that you can follow them. I don't want to make this video two hours long giving specific instructions when you might just do a couple of things. So the first thing you should be doing is setting up a website firewall and monitoring system. So install a security plugin like Sukari or even WordPress works, but have a security plugin preemptively protecting your site. The next thing to do is switch to managed WordPress hosting. This is essential for security and for performance as well. We recommend SiteGround and WP Engine for managed hosting. Links in the description. Again, disable theme and plugin editors. WordPress has a built-in feature where you can edit your plugin and theme files. It's better to just disable that feature altogether for security purposes. Again, the link in the description on how to do this. Next thing you should be doing is limiting the number of login attempts. This can be done through Sukiri or WordPress as well. So make sure to set that up. You should also set up a two-factor authentication on your website using any of these plugins or a dedicated plugin. Then you should also put password protect your admin directory. Once again, an additional layer of security so that admin uh, files are not compromised. Again, link in the description on how to do this. And you should also be disabling PHP execution in certain directories. This is again, one more layer of security you should add. And again, instructions for that in the description of this video, specific article linked out. You should be doing all of this to ensure that your website, first of all, is recovered from a hack and also so that it doesn't get hacked again. So those are the things you should be doing to recover your hacked website. Once again, if any of this is too technical for you, save your time, energy, money and headaches and just hire WP Beginner or any professional that you trust to recover your hacked website. You will save a lot of time and money in the process. So just links in the description for WP Beginner's hacked website recovery. But if you want to just go through a professional, that's completely fine as well. What do you think about this video? Have you ever experienced a website hack? And if yes, what were the steps you took to recover your hacked website? Let me know in the comments. Of course, like, share, subscribe this video. And you're watching WP Beginner to continue our education on WordPress and for website building, business, SEO, traffic, and all the good stuff. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. You're watching Yuvraj from WP Beginner. I'll catch you in the next video really, really soon. Take care.